So although you generally don't want to be doing static stretches before you start your routine, you still definitely want to warm up and stretch properly before you begin your workout. And the way we'll do that is with dynamic or active stretching where you're not actually holding a position for longer than 30 seconds, but you're doing more of a movement based stretching. Chris Heria is an example of why critical analysis works. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. And you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words, I trust actions. I don't care what you heard, I'm not slacking. My name is Alan Roberts. This is Everyday I'm Day Fitness. Like, subscribe, click the notification over here, and share my videos, motherfuckers. Thank you very much. Subscribe to my second channel, Alan Roberts. My opinion, of course, can be linked above and below and at the end and all those fucking places. So. A while back, I made some videos on Chris Heria because Chris was putting out bullshit, misleading information. Chris was basically, uh, the first video I did was him talking about uh, target, targeting people's belly fat. So he basically was implying that people could target their belly fat. What's up, Elite Thenix athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenix. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys an eight minute high intensity fat burning workout. Perfect for all fitness levels that's going to target stubborn belly fat. Well, that's just a fucking shame. What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys the best way to lose stubborn belly fat with a five minute home ab workout. So today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to lose stubborn belly fat. and increase my heart rate and lower belly fat. So now I'm gonna show you guys a five minute workout that's gonna burn your stubborn belly fat. This workout is definitely gonna build your endurance and at the same time, burn that belly fat. Now I know a bunch of his butt hurt little fucking, you know, 16 year old fans basically tried to say that I was, you know, misquoting him because he never said spot reduction, but he's talking about targeting your belly fat, which means targeting your belly fat, people. Let's fucking be real. Like, I understand you guys love him and think he's pretty and everything like that, but in reality, he was talking about, you know, reducing just that section. Now, he did come back with a retort saying he was talking about targeting your entire belt, your, your entire fat all over your body, but they just put target your belly fat on, on the... In the, in the title, it's fuck, it was fucking pathetic, especially because they had that Maga Bracco chick on there too, talking about targeting arm fat. When you train calisthenics, you are burning out lactic acid, which will make your arms more toned, instead of building up lactic acid like when you use weight. That shit's fucking ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> but he acted very, very viscerally to it. He was seriously fucking butthurt. Um, he, uh, you know, I'm old, call me old fat that, that I, that I was, you know, I ain't recording my car, which by the way, for those of you that are fucking triggered as fuck that I'm not recording my car right now, it's fucking like two degrees of Pittsburgh, motherfuckers, so I'm recording in my fucking, you know, office slash storage room slash workout area slash whatever the fuck it is in, in, in my place. Anyway, so he got really fucking butt hurt, so of course, I do what I do, I made some videos, and of course, you know, he changes what they, they, they changed what they were doing. Now, he did make this video. What's up, guys? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to the vlog. Today we're going to be doing a different type of video. We're going to take a break from the normal style videos because today I have a special video just for you. Now I wasn't going to make this video, but I had seen all the Thenx athletes and I'd seen all the fans go into those comments of these trolls videos and start defending me. Which you can't find that video anywhere because he had to take that video down because he was getting fucking way late in the comments. Horrible, horrible like to dislike ratio. It was had to be bad for business. A lot of that was because he mentioned Austin Dunham who had nothing to do with him. So I do keep track <clears throat> of people who I roast. I keep track of their comments. I keep track, I mean, I keep track of their content. Uh, Ask V shreds. <laughs> um, but I did want to point out, and, and I wanted to like congratulate almost Chris Heria and the Thenx crew. Uh, because while I think he's still kind of a fucking egotistical punk kid, um, they did learn. Uh, you know, he, he, put, he put this out the other day. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you something you don't wanna do before you start working out. And once you're able to fix this, you're gonna start performing a lot better and making a lot more gains through your training. And that one simple mistake is doing static, long stretches before you start your workout. And what I mean by static stretches is static holds for long periods of time, generally around 30 seconds or longer. In fact, if you're doing static stretches before you start training, that may actually be doing more damage than helping your athletic and muscle performance. Our muscles are very much like a rubber band. And for a 
rubber band to be at its maximum performance, you wanna make sure that that rubber band will have tight tension and good elasticity. By holding the rubber band out to its fullest extension for a longer period of time, we have lost the power in its tension and that is exactly what we do to our muscles when we take long static hold stretches before we start working out. We need our muscles to have that tension and elasticity to have the power during our workouts. If we already stretched all of that out, you're gonna be a lot weaker. You're not gonna have that power during your training session. In fact, in some cases that can even lead to injury, but I'll save that for another video. That is very, very, very good information. Now, I don't know if he already knew this information and just didn't give a fuck enough to explain it enough. I didn't know, I don't know if he uh, learned this information since then because it wasn't just me. A bunch of people were pointing out that he didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Or if he's reading off a cue card, and I don't fucking care. I really, I, I really do not fucking care um, why he's doing it, but that is very good information, and I applaud it. I mean, I will point out, the only thing I'm going to point out is, I have, I, even from the very beginning, I said he was an amazing bar athlete, but when it came to his feet, anything done like on his feet, he's kind of in, you know early intermediate, and I still stick by that. You know, one of the, I, I don't believe he focuses enough on mobility and strength on his feet, and I think it shows in how, you know, how he was stretching there. He's very rounded in the back. Uh, he doesn't look like he has great mobility in his hips and lower back, just to be honest. So uh, it might be something for you to work on. Because I did, you know, I personally pulled in a lot of new calisthenics shit into my training. You know, that's one thing I do with everybody. I try to learn a little bit from everybody that I that I talk about, whether positive or negative. You know, if, it, if I talk about them positively, I try to take in stuff. Even negatively, I try to take in stuff. And while I did plyo a lot, I mean, a lot, lot beforehand... which I believe surprised the Harry fans, but I did plyo a lot before. I do a lot more calisthenics now, a lot more body weight work. And I wanted to thank, you know, uh, Harry and Dunham and all those people that I, I wouldn't have come in contact with. I wouldn't fucking, probably wouldn't have fucking added in, but I've definitely seen the benefit. But it, I wanted to make this video because it does go to show that whether positive or negative, the, whether the criticism is positive or negative, if the information evolves, if it's better for the, what, they have 2.5 million or 2.6 million subscribers on that channel that are now getting proper information versus how to target their belly fat. That mis misleading, you know, bullshit that's given out just to fucking get people to fucking view that shit. Just get people that don't fucking know any better to view that shit. If that shit goes away and good content is replaced, like it appears it has been on the Thetics channel, that is something to be applauded. So I don't give a fuck if he likes me or not, or any of them like me. I couldn't give a fuck less. But I just wanted to say, good job, and that's why criticism works, and that's just my two cents in the matter. My name's Alan Roberts. Hit me up on Instagram at Everyday Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Everyday Fitness. I'm also on Facebook at Everyday Day Fitness. I'm on the internet at EverydayDayFitness.net. God damn.